that, let's head out to Conway. Let's get the action going. Opening kickoff, and Jawan Moody starts off fast. I'll tell you what, doesn't take long for the Tigers to get things rolling. Hits the corner and the sideline, and that young man is in the end zone. 99 yards, two-point conversions good. 8 nothing Conway, and the crazies are going nuts. Later on, Brandon Goswick throws, and it's picked off. Antonio Long getting the NIT. That keeps the Braves off the board. Then it's the reigning HTC game ball winner showing his stuff. Jermaine Martin making it look easy. That touchdown here, as he would find the end zone, gives the Tigers a 15-0 lead. Nice chunk of real estate, my friend, that you just eat up there. And then it's time for Goswick, however, to try to rally the troops. It's the quarterback calling his own number here. Scrambles in for the six. That would cut the Conway lead to 22-8 in the second quarter. Time for the future Gamecock to go to work. Peyton Derrick, he's going to hit the big fella. The receiver, Brian Edwards, the South Carolina commit, takes it in for the touchdown. Steve Spurrier Jr. on hand to watch his future sensation. And I tell you what, he's got to like what he sees right there. In the end, it's all Conway. The Tigers go on to win this one. Your final, 43-8 as the Tigers improved to 3-0 on the season. Undefeated is your Conway Tigers. So as for Sakasti, the Braves fall to 0-3. But what's this mean for Conway moving forward? I'll tell you what it means. Next week, at the backyard, they have second-ranked Hartsville in Class 3A coming to town to take on the undefeated Tigers. So you have a setup of two teams, both 3-0, meeting a week from tonight in Conway and I can go ahead and tell you right now that will be the Academy Sports and Outdoors game of the week for week three but for right now the Conway Tigers are going to enjoy this one for at least another 10 to 12 hours before they have to meet tomorrow morning to get things rolling for next week.